because of his unique talent at the quarterback position, and I believe it is the most unique in the league. Few players in NFL history have made jaw-dropping plays look as easy as Michael Vick. He's an electrifying football player. He takes your breath away every time he drops back to throw the football because you don't know where he's going to be. A physical athletic ability like a Jordan or like a Deion Sanders. <laughs> During his Atlanta career, Vic has averaged more yards per rush than per pass attempt. Dual scare for a neighborhood in Newport News, not one, but two meth investigations on the same street. I think it was the summer of 1991, 92. I heard a gunshot every Night. Business and civic leaders here say the unemployment rate may be as high as 40 to 50 percent. Police patrolling the area deal with street crime of all Brutal sorts. Brutal murders, drug deals, and home invasion. Police activity invades the aqueduct apartment. My dad was heavy into drugs and heavy into the streets. Even though Michael was focused on football, it was hard to avoid being tempted by the consistent call of the streets. How did you stay away from all that? I set a goal when I was young, and my goal was to... to Make it to the NFL. Welcome to Warwick High School, the launching pad that propelled Michael Vick to national notoriety as the quarterback for the Virginia Tech Hokies. There's this guy, he's like throwing his ball everywhere, and he's just playing so good. We just ran around the corner, and I was like, who is it, who is it? Touchdown for Ferguson, Dr. Michael Vick. I was like, oh, that's just my brother. I know him, he does this all the time. Let's go back to high school. Michael Vick was a human highlight reel. He used to run and jump in little league like he do it in the pros. And that that used to scare me. I, you know, I got a weak heart, and I can't have them jumping up in the air trying to jump over 15 or 20 people. There was a time in high school, me and my coach went back and watched the tape, and he looked at me and said, you're playing the National Football League one day. You know, Michael Vick, man, he was that dude when he was at Virginia Tech. He was a dude we always looked up to. Michael Vick broke onto the national scene as a quarterback at Virginia Tech. His style, athleticism, and success made him unique in college, and now just as historic in the pros. That was, man, almost like Superman on the football field. Running with the football, has a seam at the five, goes airborne. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bounce. Into the end zone, touchdown Tech, a sensational flip by Vick. What is the Michael Vick experience? Well, you see me run around on the field and dodge a defender. Vick is in! Touchdown! Up, up and away! You're hurling over guys, flipping in the air. That's the experience. Touchdown! He does it all, folks! You changed high school and college football. Yeah. Breaking 80-yard runs. Here's Vick taking the snap, scrambling, running with the football. Crosses the 50, turning on the Jets. Look at that speed! He's racing all the way into the end zone. Touchdown, Tech! They couldn't catch him. Michael Vick sprints for his second touchdown. Those, uh, 70, 80-yard bombs as well. I've never seen anything like that. Look at the wiggle. Michael Vick. Michael Vick. Kind of a splash of elegance in uh, some real athleticism there. 43 years I've been in college coaching. I've never seen a freshman football player better than Michael Vick. Vick, the hit, loses the football, picks it up. He changed our program. He changed the university. The whole country was talking about Michael Vick the next day. the speed, he breaks free, got an angle, but pushed out of bounds. Virginia Tech, I had never seen him on TV, never seen him in a bowl game. I was saying to myself, this is an opportunity for me to leave a legacy. Number one overall draft pick <laughs> in 2001. How much do you feel like you've grown, just personally, spiritually, from that day you walked across the With stage? With the uh, first selection in the 2001 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select Michael Vick, quarterback, Virginia Tech. He's a man who signed a $130 million contract before he threw a pass in the NFL. You breaking into the league, yeah. setting the NFL on fire. Coming to the league, taking a franchise over. Three wide receivers, Shep. Third and three. Chandler is hit. Chandler 
he's hurt, which is probably the more important thing. My coach, Dan Reeves, he wanted me to run. He, he did. He told me I drafted you to be the quarterback that we seen at Virginia Tech. And yes, Michael Vick debuts with a huddle coming from his own end zone. Coach told me, listen, use your abilities, do the things that I've seen you do. The most anticipated debut, perhaps since the days of Joe Namath. Everybody does well. Takes off, picks up the first down, and more. Down to the 32-yard line of the Dolphins. The only thing that brought Mike Vick down was Bobby Christian. Everybody in the locker room, everyone just told me to be myself. Right. Don't change your game. Don't change your identity. And I stuck to that, and it really paved the way for a lot of these young guys. But look at that laser pass. I mean, that, that ball is on a rope. Complete Brian Finneran. And from that, I got the big head. Like, I, it was, I felt like there was nothing that I couldn't do. Right as a quarterback, as a player, so. Rick in trouble, escapes. Oh. Boom, perfect timing. Still on the run. Looks for the change, yeah. and he'll pick up the first down <laughs> on fourth and 15. Did you see that? Did you see the speed? Wow. Hey, that's what we got him for. Good shot, yeah. Sean, Jack. That was good left hand. Run the ball. Scramble. I know he was the number one pick of the draft, but how many times have the number one pick of the draft not turned out to be everything they've been built to be? This, he has it all. The ceiling was extremely high, and I felt like I, you know, I need really needed to take advantage of that. Towards the corner of the end zone. He gets away from people in in a small area better than anybody I've ever seen. He has just an unbelievable control of his body to make people miss who have, you know, straight shots at him. It may become blue complete free. Right guy, right city, right time. It, it was spectacular. When he rolled, the defense responds to it. The most important thing for me to improve on, and it was obvious to everybody, was, you know, my accuracy. But at a young age, with the, the running ability, I just always felt like I didn't have to develop, you know, the passing skill set early. This is what Michael Vick is capable of doing. Uh, now understanding that if I would took time to do it back then, um, who knows where, you know, my career would have gone. Something special. That's a fastball. There's certain athlete, athletes that have, um, I'll call it, they defy your eye. Like you see them do things, you're like, rerun that. I want to see that again. Now he has unbelievable quickness to combine that with the speed that he has. When he came in, it was a big deal to have a black quarterback. And the way he played, I mean, he played what some people might say a black style. The way he, he might have played. blown the ceiling off yeah. what the previous preconceived idea was for success yeah. for black people. Yeah. There's no one like Michael Vick. No one like Michael Vick. He's playing the fastest, scariest guys in the world, and he makes them look like they're standing still. You just don't see uh, quarterbacks that have that combination of speed, uh, quickness, ability to throw the football. Vic is the fourth highest rated quarterback in the NFC and is the Falcons leading rusher. So many times I've seen him, you know, where somebody has just a complete open shot and they don't touch it. You know, you were such a star, Michael, that when I saw you, I thought, you know, Michael's not real big. And you ran, Mike, and you took shots. <laughs> Looks to be shaken up. Yeah. Can you get Jimmy Rouse to teach you how to slide or something? Do something like that? You know, you know what? <laughs> You're too like, damn competitive. I know you, I know, man. You, I... you know, you want to take that three yard run and go 50 with it, yeah. and you're going to run over five guys. Learning to run out of bounds instead of staying in bounds and taking those hits. And it was just one of those weird things that happens when you have that ability to kind of run around that messes you up. But you got to be careful, man. Those guys, they don't, they don't like you out there. We played Minnesota in Minnesota. In Minneapolis for today's meeting.
between the Minnesota Vikings and the Atlanta Falcons. I think of that 2002 season with Michael Vick, which was really his breakout year, and they're going up against the Vikings. Michael Vick owns that name. Off the play, Vick. Vick takes off. Unbelievable. First down and more. Still on his feet. Inside the 20. Down to the 12-yard line. One of the things that tried to get through to Mike was you are here for a reason. When you don't see anybody open, they're not covering you. And look at the speed and the running ability of Michael Vick. <laughs> it makes everybody else look like they've got molasses in their shoes. Sales is the call. Even though... Touchdown run, and he finishes with 173 yards rushing. Mike runs into the tunnel, and, and we just run in the tunnel with him. <laughs> the game's over. Is there any doubt as to who will be the most viable player in the NFL this season? Michael Vick gets my vote. Atlanta Falcons quarterback Michael Vick surrendered a water bottle to security at Miami International Airport Thursday that smelled like marijuana. Vick was stopped by security, cut left, broke a tackle, and was finally brought down after gaining 22 yards. Known for traveling with a large entourage of friends from Virginia, going on wild spending sprees, not focusing on football. A tremendous athlete, tremendous talent, very, very gifted guy who relies on his natural ability. I was lazy. You know, last guy in the building, first guy out. I know that. Uh, you got the world in the palm of your hands, you got money. Uh, you, know, you got women. I was with a different woman beside me every other night. Did you feel untouchable? Yeah, in a sense, I felt like I was untouchable. The Falcons come in as the number six seed. They started the season one and three. Then they were unbeaten over an eight game stretch with seven wins and a tie. Yeah. I remember you were the first quarterback to go up to Green Bay and win a right. playoff game. Right, yeah. Well, there's a runner and a passer, and he's in one body for Atlanta. His name is Michael Vick. Which component of his would be most important tonight? Third down and four now from the 10 yard line. Great protection for Vick. A touchdown by Sean Jefferson. Told us yesterday he loved the 49ers, loved Steve Young when he was going up. Right, and if there was a quarterback that he always wanted to emulate, it was Steve Young, and he has a lot of the same tools that Steve Young has. What they call the old escape ability. 28 yard line turns a loss into a big game. I and mean, this is the double ultimate weapon. Here. Yeah, I mean, he can do all the things that Randall could do, but run a heck of a lot faster. I mean, that's the thing. If you said, who's the fastest player in the whole league? Not fastest quarterback, fastest, run, fastest player in the whole league. It's Mike Vick. You know, only in my first year to be 22 years old to come out and, and uh, get, a, get a win against a tough Green Bay team. Uh, you know, I really have to take my hats off to the guys around me and, uh, and and give glory to God because, you know, that was the key to the whole thing. I just left there thinking, I mean, this could be the dawn of one of the great quarterbacks we will ever see. When you were at the height of, you went to Green Bay, you won a playoff game, you were a rock star in America. You know, almost being like a, a superhero, you know, in the town that needed a superhero. You know, music, movies. Rappers in the tank. Right. The dome was like a club. Welcome to Michael Vick Experience. Over the course of his career, Michael Vick has had his face plastered on magazine covers and video games. Well, that's not in the playbook, but he should be. Being on the Madden cover was uh, surreal. Me being able to score on the video game at any time from anywhere. He decided to pull it down and run with it. He was the Bo Jackson. Closing in, looking downfield. Hey, hey. Keeps it. A lot of room to work with. The things that I was able to do versus that level of competition was uncanny. The way my body moved and contorted. It was unreal, just phenomenal. It was a blessing from God to have that type of talent. No quarterback has ever rushed for a thousand yards in a season. You're getting close. What does that represent to you? It represents a lot. It represents what I can do for the game. Uh, my main goal is to come out and get a win tonight. If I get the rushing yards and I get and I rush for a thousand yards this season, then it happen. If it doesn't, the most important thing is winning. The feet are 
unbelievable. I mean, that, Barry Sanders just willed his feet to Michael Vick. <laughs> there goes Michael Vick. And Julius Peppers chased him out of bounds to 49. Wow. Line of 13. Wow. Regardless of how well you defend him, you can still kill him. Vick under pressure. Just runs away from everybody. and in 2006 became the first quarterback ever to rush for 1,000 yards in a single season. This pulls up, throws. Falcons faced fourth and goal from the 12-yard line. Who gets to be the guy to make a play? They cannot get a first down. It's touchdown or nothing. magic trick sent the game into overtime. We live in a society where there, there are a whole lot of people that love animals. Uh, there are a lot of people who are dog lovers, love dogs more than they love human beings. We're breaking news now in the case of NFL quarterback Michael Vick. He, as you may know, faces federal charges involving dog fighting. As Atlanta Falcons quarterback Michael Vick faces federal dog fighting charges. Uh, he was basically living two lives. Mr. Vick has agreed now to enter a guilty plea. I take full responsibility for my actions. For one second, will I sit right here? Not for one second, will I sit right here and point the finger and try to blame anybody else for my actions or what I've done? What was it, 18 months in prison? Yep. 18 Ooh, months. months. And oh. Levensworth. Yeah. Levensworth. Bill, how much money did he lose? Like $100 million. He's broke. He lost two years of his career, and he went to Levensworth. Vic's admission to dogfighting almost destroyed not only his career, but his life. What else does this guy have to do? Like, they just want to see him, they want to see a broken man. Yeah. First day I walked into prison and he slammed that door, I knew, you know, the magnitude of the decision that I made. So if he comes back from that, it's got all that other drama in it. Yeah, this whole world crumbled. Many are wondering today why the Philadelphia Eagles went out and signed the most controversial player in the game today, who just also happens to be a former Pro Bowl quarterback. There was no saying, well, we don't get it. No, we got it. We know what he did. Now, I'm a Christian. I've made mistakes myself. I believe fervently in second chances. But Michael Vick killed dogs. And I think, personally, he should have been executed for that. He wasn't. You know, that was the, the hole I dug for myself. And, you know, I had to crawl up out of it. Those longtime Michael Vick fans who live in and around Atlanta and attended those games on a regular basis, they should cheer for him. They will cheer for him. Michael Vick, six seasons with the Atlanta Falcons. Led the Falcons to the NFC Championship game following the 2004 season. Led the Eagles out onto the field moments ago and was one of the Eagles captains who came out for the coin toss. Always gonna respect Vic and always gonna look up to Vic because we knew what Vic was on the football field. Touchdown, his first of the season. He took over that city when he was there. He was an icon, and a lot of people still have a great fondness for him. And now you hear the crowd because they sense that Michael Vick is in the game, and here he is off the plate. Anywhere I went, it don't matter. The minute I start looking like what people used to see him. Yeah. A 
26 yard touchdown pass to send 90,000 plus into silence. Donovan McNabb is headed out of Philadelphia and moving south. The Eagles have traded their longtime quarterback to the Washington Redskins for a pair of draft picks. And with the rise of Kevin Cobb, McNabb was seen as expendable. I can't wait to see how Kevin Cobb plays here this afternoon. Well, everybody's looking forward to it, including his own teammates. He's waited three years for this opportunity. It's third down and 14. And Cobb's in trouble. Kevin went down, I was just saying to myself, Kevin, get And up. what a day for Mike Vick. His first start in nearly four years. The Eagles go on offense, and there is Michael Vick in his first Highly publicized story, probably one of the biggest falls from grace in recent modern athletic history. The place to Deshaun Jackson with great speed. 45-yard touchdown pass, Mike Vick to Deshaun go Jackson. back to 2010, that game you had against the Redskins. They start the offense on the 12 yard line. First play of the game. You guys love to attack. First play is from about the 12, and there is Vic, as you talked about, John, rolling and watching downfield. That's just our attitude. You know, we feel like we can get that edge. And it is caught by Deshaun Jackson. He's at the 30, at the 20, at the 10. Touchdown! Uh, if you are an individual or an advocate for those individuals who have been incarcerated, coming out of prison and receiving a second yeah. chance because they can be better contributors to society, Michael Vick is the epitome of that. In for the touchdown. He said there were times in his career he thought he'd never play football again, but now this renewed interest, he wants to play seven or eight more years. In that regard, He's the quintessential role model in terms of resurrecting oneself, truly learning from his mistakes, and showing the proper level of contrition. He's been absolutely phenomenal in yeah. that regard. Oh, and Michael Vick has been responsible for five. Throwing for three, he hit his first ten passes on the night, and he's just rushed for his second touchdown. Once Michael Vick admitted to the dogfighting charges, it easily vaulted him to the most hated athlete in all of America. I think that it's right to give a guy a second chance. Touchdown Avant! Wow. Touchdown pass four. Somebody get me his autograph. This guy is on fire. Without question, Michael Vick is one of the most, if not the most, controversial athlete in all of America. And that should wrap it up. Moss, nine yards deep, center of the end zone. Manning with a perfect pass. It's been done, but it's going to have, it's almost into the miracle stage. He did his time like a man, and then he came back, and he tried to give back. Good. Play with the football of Seller at the 20, at the 15, 10-5, touchdown! Brent he came back, he did it with class. You know, he did it with, 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 with respect. That's big, because with a strike that quick, the Eagles' hopes have just been heightened. He's spoken at school after school after inner city school about the, the horrors and, and the abuses of dog fighting. Wiley Cooper has it, Boy, and the Eagles recover it on to his kick. And the Giants never saw that coming. The Giants were flat-footed. They never saw it coming. If the Eagles can score here, you are going to see the Giants very, very nervous. Thick in the shotgun. Not a redemptive one they're going to do a movie about, but it's a pretty good comeback story for a guy who a lot of people wrote off. 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, back at the 10, dives down at the 6! You better believe... There are a lot of nervous stomachs in the stadium right now. Losing $100 million, going to jail for two years. I guess that'll change people a little bit. Oh my goodness, the Eagles are alive! He's in! He's in! We've got a one touchdown game! We have seen our share of miracles in Eagles-Giants game. So three minutes, one second left. No timeouts, and here comes Vic. Came back, 
was remorseful and tried to do the right thing. What a game this has turned into. First and ten. Vic in the shotgun. Three receivers. Blitz. Vic. Vic rolling. He's going to run. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Michael Vick has given the Eagles life with 2.41 to go after a 32-yard run. He steps up. He's going to run. He's at the 40, 35, 30. Hang on to your seats, ladies and gentlemen. This is something special. It is to McMacklin, and Macklin sidestepped and runs in for the touchdown! Macklin, quarter of the five, and this place is in a state of shock! And now Eli Manning will take a sack. The clock will continue to wind, which is good news for the Giants. Because the Eagles are out of timeouts. Mike, I have not seen anything like this. If somehow, some way, the Eagles win this thing, I will tell you right now, this will be the most memorable Eagles game I will have ever broadcast. bring it and he was going to do whatever he could do to try to help his team get over the top. Unfortunately for Michael Vick, no matter what kind of a career he has from this point forward, if he wins the Super Bowl, I think his eventually will be Michael Vick, who won the Super Bowl but was also convicted of dog killing. I don't think people are ever going to think about him and then not think about the dogs. I do believe that everybody's entitled to a second chance. Yeah, he's going to he's going to own probably every rushing record in the NFL by a quarter. No question about it. On the other hand, there are there are countless people who do who do and want and 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 need second chances and America is very forgiving in that instance. I'm glad Michael Vick is on the field. He's playing. He's one having one of the best years of his life. Vick, he fakes it to him and now here goes Michael Vick. Be Michael Vick. Talk about the speed, how much does he have? Vic all the way down to the 27 yard line. He was exciting and probably didn't scratch the surface of his potential. He talked about not working out, not training, not studying, you know, kind of taking things for granted, the gifts that the Lord had given him. Bottom line, he did a horrific thing. Yes, he, he did. He paid, he went to jail. He's speaking for the Humane Society, the ASPCA. He has turned his life around. And takes off, looking good here. Here's Michael Vick inside the 20-yard line. And one man to beat, and knocking him out of bounds is Jason Kraft. And that was a scintillating run by Michael Vick. And they go to Duck. No, it's a fake. And I attended a number of those Michael Vick games in that Georgia Dome. And they were events. They were like concert performances. It was people dressed up, women in high heels, men in suits. Because it was the place to be. But there isn't anybody like Michael Those Vick. people have never been so thrilled and so entertained as they were during those games. What's going to be written uh, on his tombstone at some point 50, 60, 70 years from today?
Mike, like the best of us, I think, learned from his mistakes. It's